Getting your hands on the 67-2, it's like meeting your childhood hero. At once it's thrilling, terrifying, everything you had hoped, and utterly incapable of living up to your expectations, mostly. The 67-2 is an amazing camera. There's a sound case to be made for it being the best Pentax camera ever made, and in many ways it is. There's a sound case for it being the best 6x7 camera ever made, which it probably is. There could be a sound case for it being the best camera ever made, even though it's not. It's amazing. It's top five. Holding it is like shaking the Pope's hand. Yes, that's exactly what it's like. The 67-2 lets you know it's there. It's larger than my first apartment. If you hit it with a hammer, the hammer will shatter. And then you get to use it, take a photo with it, finish a roll, send it to the lab, look at the scans, and you can see how the 672 gathers light with the delicacy of a lepidopterologist collecting specimens and carefully arranging them into a beautiful, colorful image, more full of life than half the people you will ever meet. Using this camera, there's none of that brute force you might expect, none of the bluntness characteristic of other medium format systems. Sure, you need a strong forearm and a steady stance, and yes, the camera bounces a bit more with the mirror's movement than the original 6x7 bodies, but the 67.2 is delicate with its shutter release, as sensitive as your girlfriend's earlobe. The 67.2 is a calm force. The 67-2 approaches its job with the professionalism of a physician, the serenity of a Buddhist monk, and the dedication of a loyal dog. The 67-2 uses what's under its hood to deliver images without equal. So what is under the hood? The most advanced 6x7 camera ever made. The 67-2 is the pinnacle of 6x7 camera development. The film advance is so precise that on a 220 roll, it can squeeze an extra frame into the film. The shutter's electronics are accurate and stable and deliver inconceivably constant shutter speeds over time and with repetition. The curtain travels at a constant, uniform speed, which is only important if you want to have perfectly even exposure across the whole frame. The 67-2 was designed for professional photographers with input from professional photographers. Pentax, as they have always done, built this camera to rest in the photographer's hands as an ally, with an interface designed for simplicity. None of this complex, multi-button combination nonsense. No functions lie buried under menus, and with the arcane and incomprehensible function code names necessitated by 1990s design limitations. The 67-2 incorporates proven, tried-and-true design best practices with exceptional electronics to create a tool that becomes part of the photographer. But even with the best medium format camera ever made, there are trade-offs. As a matter of simple physics, the shutter curtain takes lifetimes to cross the image plane. That means that the fastest in-camera flash sync speed is 1 30th of a second, the same as the original 6x7 that first showed up as a prototype at Photokina in 1965, 33 years before the first 67-2 arrived on store shelves. This can be overcome with leaf shutter lenses, but those have their own issues. The camera's LCD does not illuminate, which makes after-dark work a bit of a pain. That could have been an easy fix and was a bit of an oversight, but Pentax has always had trouble really capitalizing on their camera top LCD screens. Even their modern DSLRs miss a number of opportunities to make the most out of their LCD screens. Also, the 67-2 is slightly bouncier than the 6x7 MLU when the mirror high-fives the focusing screen. That's probably due to the 110 gram diet that Pentax put the 67-2 on compared to the 6x7 MLU. But even at 1660 grams lensless, the 67-2 still has the weight to remain generally steady and shake free at slower shutter speeds than its 35mm counterparts. 
When using normal and wide lenses, I found I could handhold the 67-2, specifically with the 105mm lens, to 1 30th of a second fairly reliably. 1 15th of a second on occasion. Reliably, I can hold the MLU to 1 15th of a second because the added weight gives it a potential energy nearing zero and that the mirror cannot overcome. Now that said, knowing that most people can hand hold the 67-2 to the same shutter speeds as 35mm cameras is staggering. This camera is designed to be reliable and stable in a studio, in the field, for a planned shot, or on the fly. And frankly, most people aren't going to hand hold this to slow speeds. So the weight reduction that does allow a little bit more camera shake really isn't a problem and does facilitate carrying the camera around comfortably for longer. My largest complaint about the 67.2 and other SLR style medium format cameras is that they lack mid-roll change capabilities. With my RB67, I can pick it up, swap out the film halfway through a roll, go from black and white to slide film, 50 ISO to 800, and back again. With the 67.2, you're committed to all 10 frames before you try something new. Yes, most 35mm cameras are like that, but the 67.2 serves a different audience. Now, fortunately, the 67.2 only fits 10 shots on a 120 roll. So the next film change will come pretty quickly. And if I'm honest, I only had two or three occasions in six weeks where I felt like I could have truly used a second film back. If you want to get into the 6x7 format, the 67.2 should be your gateway drug. These are affordable, running as much as a typical mid-range, brand new APS-C DSLR kit. But the results the 67.2 delivers, I hope you'll agree, far exceed even the best DSLRs. The 6x7 format delivers image character and quality not available to smaller formats, even 645. Using the 67.2 is incredible, expensive but incredible. And if you're like me, then sometimes you'll have to quash that voice in your head that when you load a roll of Ektar or Portra into your 67.2 says, you know, with processing and scanning, each of these frames is going to cost you $2.50. You tell that voice it's worth it. Promise that voice you'll find focus on each frame. Ask that voice to help you find meaning in your image before you press the shutter. And when the shots come back and your bank statement has so much red that it looks like a murder scene, look at your work, appreciate what the 67.2 can allow you to do. Know that very few other people can deliver shots like you can with the 67.2 and tell that voice in your head, I told you so, this was worth it.